स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर 5 एंड दैट इज लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ आवर बीएमजीपी सिलेबस दैट इज वर्कशॉप मैनेजमेंट प्रैक्टिसेस नाउ इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल सी द प्रैक्टिसेस और एक्टिविटीज दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी डन बाय द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द वर्कशॉप राइट द मैनेजमेंट इज आल्सो एन इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर फॉर द सर्विस स्टेशंस ऑफ द व्हीकल and that management should be properly done for the satisfaction of the customers generally the satisfaction of the customers is the most important factor for the vehicle service station otherwise the same customer will not come back for the service of his vehicle for the second time if he is not getting the better performance he is not getting the 100% performance because of the service then he will not come back for the service in the same service station so let's start with the operations and activities that is required of the service stations which activities is done in the service station is that the first thing is the inspection of the vehicle will be done whenever first the customer comes with his vehicle the inspection of the vehicle will be done as the first step after doing the inspection the measuring of the components or the different aspects of the vehicle will be done and the readings will be noted down after measuring those aspects the next thing is required to be done is the disassembling the required parts or the parts which is requiring the repair or the service will be disassembled after doing the inspection and whichever part is required to be disassembled will be next disassembled after disassembling the big component the machining on the component will be done whichever process is required to be done on the machining the maintenance and overhauling process we saw in the previous videos in our chapter number 3 of the maintenance and overhauling that procedure we know how to maintain the vehicle how to do the service on the vehicle after that the new parts will be installed whenever required if we are removing the part and if the part cannot be used once again if it is faulty then we will install the new parts in that place after installing the new parts the components that we disassembled will again be reassembled in the vehicle after reassembly procedure the last thing that needs to be done is the adjusting right the adjusting will be done the different components will be adjusted and that adjustment will be done depending on the performance of the vehicle if the vehicle requires the adjusting or if any thing is required the adjusting to change the performance of the vehicle or to get the better performance of the vehicle then at the last the adjusting will be done after the operations and activity the other thing that needs to be kept in the mind while we are managing the service station is the document records the workshop documents records which needs to be maintained in the service station are some of the records which is important is first the job cards the job cards is possibly filled whenever the vehicle comes in the service station the parts catalog should be provided the part price list will be given the vehicle history sheet will be maintained for the history of the vehicle whenever the repair is done on that the warranty card will have to be maintained so that we can claim the warranty whenever there is any requirement for warranty claim of the vehicle after the bill and billing procedures of the service station should be proper so that the proper quantity and proper billing is provided to the customer the log book of the vehicle will be maintained so that the log can be written in there and we can get all the data by just looking in the log book of the same vehicle after that the last thing that is to maintain is the satisfaction sheet the customer feedback or the customer satisfaction sheet in all authorized service station whenever you go you will find a feedback form whenever you receive your vehicle 
the feedback form is important for the customer so that he can give the suggestions to the service station anything that needs to be improved in the service station if the customer is satisfied or not and so the customer satisfaction sheet will be helpful to get the idea of the customer's feedback and that feedback will be helpful for the service stations as well. The next thing we will see the detail of the job cards. The job card is required at the time of the servicing the vehicle. Whenever we take the vehicle for the service, the first thing that needs to be filled is the job card. After the job card, second thing is the details of the vehicle. The vehicle details will be filled in the job card. After filling the vehicle details, the kilometer of the vehicle will be mentioned. The rating of the odometer will be written in the kilometers. The scratches or damages will be mentioned in the chart or the diagram of the car will be given so that we can say to the customer that the damages was there and it was there for the vehicle that came to the service. Next, the fuel level will be checked. After checking the fuel level, it will be mentioned in the job card as well. The cost estimate will be written after inspecting all the components in the job card as well. The name of the technician will also be written so that the customer can contact to that technician personally. After doing things, the parts that needs to be changed will also be written in the job card. And at the last, the estimate date or time of the delivery will be written so that the customer can come at the time for the delivery of the vehicle. This is the example of the job card. This is the, the, the normal example of the job card in which you can see the details of the components that needs to be placed. The diagram you can see of the vehicle on which the condition of that will be mentioned. Also, the details of the vehicle will be written in there. So, this is a normal example of a job card. After the job card, next thing is the parts price list. The parts price list should be provided in the service station. So, if we are saying that this part needs to be replaced, then the customer will know that this is the cost of the parts that I am going to replace. And he will take the decision of that if he wants to change the part or not just by looking at this parts price list in which the detailed part will be given and in that the price of the part will be written. Next thing is the part catalog. The part catalog will give you the normal part details in which the parts will be mentioned and the working function of that part will be mentioned and the estimate cost of that part will be mentioned. So that catalog will help the driver to know which part give what gives what function and which part can be replaced at which time. Next thing is the vehicle history sheet. The vehicle history sheet is required whenever we want to check the older components or the older component condition of the vehicle. In the vehicle history sheet, all the details will be filled whenever we are changing oil or we are changing any component or we are changing any component uh, accessories and if we are repairing the vehicle the component, if we are then, uh, exposing the component or if we are disposing the component, all the details will be mentioned in the vehicle history sheet. So from there we can get the idea of our component life and when to replace that component again or when to change the oil again can be seen from the vehicle history sheet and that history sheet should be maintained by the authorized service station. Next thing is the warranty card. Now the warranty card is a card whenever we want to claim the warranty. If we want to claim the warranty then this warranty card or this form which you are seeing on the screen needs to be filled and that field will form will be given to the service station whenever we want to claim the warranty. All the details of the claiming procedures will be done in the warranty card and the parts which needs to be covered in, in warranty will also be given in the warranty card as well. Next thing is the bill and the billing procedures. Now 
whenever we go for the survey station, after completing the survey, we will be provided with the bill with the proper GST manual, and that bill will consider or will cover all the things that is done in the vehicle. The details of the service procedures needs to be maintained in the bill so that the customer knows what is the cost of, cost of each procedure. The last thing is the logbook of the vehicle. The logbook of the vehicle is generally required whenever the vehicle is used as a rented car or as a taxi. In the logbook, we will mention the kilometers of the vehicle for every ride. Also, if we are doing any change in the component, if we are changing oil, all these things can be kept in the logbook. So, logbook is necessary for the vehicle which is used as a rental car or as a taxi car. So, these are some of the documents or the records which is required to be maintained by the workshop management. So, in the next lecture, we will see about the role of the different management and also the workflow of the workshop management. Until then, thank you so much.